This is 100 feet tall, so we're taking away 47. I have zero ones, and I'm trying to take seven away. And there's nothing here, so I have to go to the hundreds, cross out the hundred. That's a zero now. This is a ten. Ten tens, right? Yep. Yeah, that's ten tens, and we can't use. We need one more for the next place, so that's a nine. That's a ten now. So, so you get, can, now you get ten ones. Can you take seven ones away from that? Yeah. Okay. What's left? Uh. Um. Three. Good. How many tens do you have? Nine. Mhm. Mm How many tens are you taken away? Four. What's left? Five. Nice. Illustrate that. Show me nine fingers. Nice. Uh, take away four. What's left? Five. Great. Same thing as what you had here, right? Nine. Take away four. Yeah. Five. Yeah, good. Okay. Okay, so 100 minus 47 is? 53. Okay, put that in your diagram. So this would be 53. Nice. Now you've got a problem coming up where you're going to multiply by 7. So you need to say some of the facts. So can you tell me those facts that you're going to need? Um, 3 times 7 equals 21, and 7 times 3 equals 21. Okay. Do you think you can do that problem right there now? Yes. Okay, fire it up. Go ahead. So, 7 times 0 would... Uh, touch the numbers as you say them, okay? 7 times 0 would equal 0. Good. 7 times 2 equals 14. Nice. 7 times 3 equals 21. Plus 1 equals 22. Very nice. Okay, we got an equation. A equals 9 plus 8. Can you show me that on the diagram? A equals 9 plus 8. Good. So what's the A worth? 17. Nice job. And you've got that put together. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to look at a different form of that equation. B minus 9 equals 8. See if you can show me that on the diagram. So start with all the stuff. A. Yep, take away 9. That's worth 8, right? Yeah. How do you get back to all the stuff? You got a plus 9. Exactly. So show me how to do that on this equation. So the A is having 9 taken away. So A, A minus 9, you would have to add the 9 back. Yeah, I agree. What, uh... what goes on that line? This line right here? Yeah. Equals. Beautiful. Uh, it would equal... What are you going to add to that side as well? Plus 9. Beautiful. All right, now do what you told yourself to do. Let's draw a big line, like an addition problem. Then, um, A... Which one Looks good, yeah. Equals... 17. Perfect. Same as we got before. Yeah. Let's try this last one. Okay. A minus 8 equals 9. Can you show me that on the diagram? So start with uh, all the stuff with your fingers. A. Yep. And this time we're going to take away 8. Minus 8. That's equal to 9, right? Is that what you're yep. grabbing? Okay. How do you get to all the stuff again? you got to put it back. You have to add 8. To both sides, right? Yes. Okay. Show me in the equation. So... A, so what are you going to do to both sides? Plus 8. Yeah. What goes on that line? Equal. Perfect. Draw a big line and total it up. A equals 17. Very nice. Okay, we got a big multiplication problem. Um, Where are you going to start? At the 8. All right, the 8 ones. All right. Go ahead. 8 times 2 equals 16. Nice. Keep going. 8 times 1 equals 8 plus 1, so 9. Good. Let's multiply by the tens digit now. 
Okay, we're not going to do this anymore, so we'll pass out. Nice. 30. How do you get 30? There's a 3 there. Because it's the t in the Circle ten. that 3. Circle that 3. Now you made it 30, right? Yes. What's anything times 10? The number that has 0 after. That's right. So go ahead, put your 0 in the answer. Correct. Now let's start multiplying. You ready? 30 times 2. Or you can just think 3 times 2. Okay. Because you already dealt with the 10. 3 times 2 equals 6. 3 times 1 equals 3. Aren't you glad you crossed that out so you didn't yeah. add it in? Okay, what's the next step we've got to? We have to add a line, put Correct. the plus Correct. sign. Then 0 plus 6 equals 6. 9 plus 6, 6 equals 15. Then 3 plus 1 equals 4. Fantastic. Hey, look at the answer. Yeah. 456. Yep. 456. Nice. Okay, here's a similar problem. Instead of 12 times 38, it's 38 times 12. You should get the same product, but the subproducts will be different. But when you add them up, the whole product will be the same as 456. All right, let her rip. 2 times 8 equals 16. 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7. Okay, all done with red? Yep. All right, grab your blue. Let's cross out that regrouped 10. So cross out this. Yep. This is not 1, it is 10. Nice, well said. So you turn that into 10, good, and you yep. put your placeholder 0 in, good, yep. all right. Um, 1 times 8 equals 8, 1 times 3 equals 3. All right, looks good. Add a line. Add it all up, good. Put the plus sign, then 0 plus 6 equals 6, 7 plus 8 equals 15. Then 3 plus 1 equals 4. 4 in the hundreds place. Good. 456? Yep. For uh, 38 times 12. And look, you got uh, 456 for thir uh, 12 times 38. So it looks good. You know you're right.